Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to speak to you guys today about how I retired at the age of 30. Alhamdulillah. But I'm going to take you all the way back to when I was 21 years old and I started working a job. And that is when I realized I cannot do this for the rest of my life. Wallahi, I remember 21 years old, I was like, I can't work a job. No chance. So I think that's when the idea came about. When I knew that I was going to start something for myself or I didn't want to work from 21 until 65, 40 years of my life, when I admitted and realized that, that's when I knew that I had to retire or do something for myself at the least. And so fast forward to 25 years old, I got experience within the recruitment game, four or five years. And then at the age of 25, coming into 26, I started my own recruitment company from my living room, by the way. And that is when everything started for when I retired at the age of 30. But don't worry, I'm going to take you guys through the steps of how I went about it, my mindset, how exactly I did it. And well, what advice would I give to you now? Maybe I would do things differently. At 25 years old, I'm in my living room, I'm working as hard as I can but at that point my target was just to make a little bit more if not the same as what I was working in my job and so my target wasn't like crazy my target was I just want to make a bit more and that to be honest with you was a mistake because if I could go back I would definitely advise myself work as hard as you can aim high and put in high targets see at that age I was just thinking I want to start a company, I want to make a bit more and I want to have free time and yes, time is the most valuable thing. However, at that point, I should have thought of higher targets. But the conversation, the conversation that I had with my friend when I was 26 years old, I had my own company, alhamdulillah, we started some making some good money and at that point I did realize I could potentially retire, I could potentially make a good amount of money. That's when I thought, well, I need to put in a target. So. I remember telling my friend, at 28 years old, inshallah, bi'idhnillah, I will make enough or I will, my target will be where I don't need more money. I'm making good, good money. There's very few things that I might need. That's the target I put in place at 28. And then I said to him, at 30 years old, I want to be in a position where I don't need to work. Again, alhamdulillah, we give shukr to Allah, azawajal. that is the situation. At 28, actually, I started making the sort of money where well, I could afford most things. But at 30, I'm now in a situation where those businesses are self-running and now I don't necessarily need to work. But I know, the key question, do I still work? Well, look, yes, I still work not because I have to, not because I need to turn up to work, but because actually I really enjoy it. Actually, I enjoy starting new businesses and taking them from the bottom and taking them high and making them profitable. That's actually something I enjoy and that's why I do what I do not because I have to. So when I say I have retired by the age of 30, what I mean by that is I don't have to work. Alhamdulillah, again. And please make that for me because the reality is if I'm doing anything that I'm doing, I promise you a big part of why I do what I do is to give back to the Muslims, is to give back to my people, is to create opportunities and help and teach the youth. Because I know when I was going through that, I didn't really have guidance, advice, or anyone I could turn to. So inshallah, you guys can see me as that person you can turn to. But if this is something you want to do, if you want to retire by the age of 30, look, it's a big target. I don't know how old you are right now, but the younger you start, the better it's going to be. Having said that, if you want to retire by the age of 30, what should you do? What is it you need to do, put in place for you to retire at the age of 30? The one and probably the most important thing is understanding it's possible, telling yourself that's exactly what you want to do and then putting the plan in place. See, me having that conversation with my friend was basically well, me affirming to myself that it was possible and that's my target. That's what I was going to do and that day, I had started working towards it, but I told myself I was going to do it. I affirmed in my brain that that was going to be my target and then the rest comes with it. So the number one thing that you have to do is tell yourself that that is what you want. Believe in it, believe in it and understand that that is a possibility. And then what you want to do is start working out exactly how much money you need a month, uh, exactly the sort of money where if you need two and a half thousand pounds a month, for example, you want to aim minimum making four thousand pounds a month somewhere where you don't really have to work. If you don't have to work and you're making four thousand pounds, one would assume that yes, you should be able to retire. Now, why do I say four thousand when you only need two thousand five hundred, for example? Always aim higher. Always try to go for more. Sometimes we make a huge mistake of, you know, in our jobs trying to make five hundred pounds more, a thousand pounds more. The reality is we should actually be aiming for a lot more than that. If you're making £2,000 a month, 
then aim for £6,000 a month. Because, well, you might fall short and you might make £4,000 a month. And it's easier said than done. However, if you put in a target, work towards that target, work out exactly how and what you need to do to get to £6,000 a month, and then inshallah, you will hit your £4,000 a month. But at the age of 28, when my business was making an X amount, uh, the business required me to be there. And so that is when the process started of me hiring employees. Uh, that's when the process started of me investing in businesses and starting businesses which didn't require my time. So I was then spending a lot of my time in businesses well, that actually didn't need me to be there after a certain time. So I was focusing on passive business ideas. And even today, if someone asks me, you know, can we invest in a business? Can we do this and that and the other? I, the first question I ask is, well, how much of my time is it going to require? If it's going to require a lot of time, I probably won't go ahead with it. But if it means that I can start, you know, uh, one month, two months or six months in the beginning and then I don't need to do anything towards it after, those are the sort of businesses I am still looking to invest and will invest in. So a recap to the things that we've already mentioned and we have more to mention. Put it in your mind that you want to retire by the age of 30. Put a plan and process in place. Say, for example, now you're working a job. Your job is giving you £2,500, £3,000 a month, for example. The reality is this, you are trading your time for money. And this is where it gets interesting. Because if you're trading your time for money, the reality is your job, the only way you're going to make money is by exchanging time. You need to now work in a process where somehow there is a potential, a possibility for maybe in the beginning you exchange time for money, but later on you don't have to exchange time. So uh, a job, for example, will always require time. Having said that, a business in the beginning might require time in the beginning, but with time, if you have employees or if there is a way where it can self-run, there is a potential for that business to be self-sustaining. At the moment, if you're working a job, it's impossible for you, you know, 20, 30 years down the line for you to say, well, I'm not going to work anymore and I'm still going to make money. That's not a job. Having said that, you could start a car wash, a rental company, a, a whatever, a cleaning company, whatever it is. If you start that and it, you are exchanging your time for money in the beginning, where you're putting in effort, later on down the line, if you have employees, if you market, etc., etc., there is a possibility, a very real possibility, that you may be able to take a step back and still make money from that business or from that hustle. So that's the first step you need to take if you are working a job. And one might say, if I'm working a job, well, how can I work on side hustles or businesses? Look, you're working 40, 50, 60 hours. There's more hours in a week than those 40 or 60 hours a week. So weekends, evenings, do what you have to do. Initially, it will require time, it will require effort, but again, you have to put that in in the beginning if you want to retire by the age of 30. Once you work out what hustle you want to do, what business you want to do, once you work out there is light at the end of the tunnel, which by the way, there is no light at the end of the tunnel when you're working a job, get that light. You need that light even if it's extremely far, you need to make sure that light is there. So you have a focus, so you have a target, and so you start working towards it. And then with time, you work harder, more marketing, whatever the business is and whatever focus it needs, you need to focus on that. With time, it starts making money. Maybe, maybe you can leave your job, focus on it more. It starts making more money. It requires even more time, but then you hire someone. Once you do that, you can either start another business, which requires capital, but doesn't require time. And maybe some videos down the line, I'll give you guys some idea on if you want to invest capital and not time and how you can earn an income from other businesses that require capital, but not time. I'll do something on that. But obviously for that, you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. So once your business starts making a good amount of money in the sense where you are making uh, enough for, to get you by, and where you are even hiring people. And even if that means you take a, a step back in money, right? And this is my advice to you. If you're making 5,000 pounds a month and hiring someone will cost you 2,500, 3,000 pounds, and you're only going to make 2,000 pounds profit, do that because time is money. If someone is looking after your business, if someone is spending that time on your business and because they're doing that, well, you're not having to turn up to work. You have this time now, for example, Guess what? We're back where we started. You might be very close to that £2,500 mark. Yes, this sounds amazing and it sounds possible and it's like, well, that was easy in a short video and it doesn't seem that hard. But the point is this. Most people, where do they fail? They never start. Most people don't even tell themselves it's possible. In fact, the number one place, people don't think it's possible to retire at 30. That's number one. And then people don't start a business, a side hustle, or do anything for themselves. And then they don't work hard enough and they give up in the first three or six months. And well, 
that's where most people fail. I mean, if I don't know the statistics on it, but that's 90% of people will fail by that point. 90% of people will fail at the point of, you know, not even uh, thinking that it's possible and then executing and then not giving up too early. And so if you do those three, you're probably, you know, putting yourself in a very good position. And even if you fail, don't think it's failure. It's never failure. It's actually a learning curve because with what you have learned, you can go do that again. And I assure you, I promise you, second time, your chances will be a lot higher to have that business be successful or, you know, correct the mistakes that you would have made in the past. And that in essence is, is exactly what I did. I set up my recruitment company. I started making X amount of money at X point, that being 28 years old. I then hired people. And when I hired people, they started doing the work and I didn't really have to turn up to work. I still had to manage, etc., etc. But that's when the process started of me investing in another business, investing in another one, another one, and I still got my recruitment company. So now I have four or five multiple businesses. For example, I am there, therefore happy to invest this capital into other businesses, which doesn't require time. Then I hire more people into the recruitment company. And if it means I take less money, but I have time, I do that every single time. I take time over money always. Because if you have 12 hours in the day and you know, you're making X amount of money, but you're using up those 12 hours, there's no, there's no, there's a ceiling now. And I hate ceilings. I am not a big fan of ceilings. So my brothers and sisters, I hope this video helped you. I hope you guys can take some advice from this. I hope you can learn some lessons from this. Um, comment below, let me know what sort of videos you want me to make. I'm going to be taking these videos very, very seriously because 2023, I'm out here for you guys. Barakallah feek, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.